happening right now, a disaster preparation drill taking place on Belle Isle. But this isn't your ordinary demonstration because it features some futuristic technology that will be used to respond to hazardous situations. And now Detroit's Andy Choi is live on Belle Isle with a look at what's going on. Hey, Andy. Well, this is a life-saving demonstration as uh, we in the media see scenes behind me all the time, real ones. This is a drill, and uh, this is a huge deal. We are practicing something that can save lives. Scott Belcher with ITS America is here. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's great to be here. Tell us uh, exactly what's going on here. So we've got a mock incident where we're showing the, how technology can really affect and help first responders. And so what we've got is we've got un unmanned uh, aerial uh, vehicles that can come and, and check out a, uh, an accident early and make sure that it's safe for re first responders. We've got a tipped 18-wheeler and uh, with a hazardous waste spill. We've got a we've got um, folks who are in it who ran into the um, into the 18-wheeler in a car, and they and, and we've got a, a medevac. And we're all using interoperable um, communications. We're, we're communicating with the hospital to be prepared for the, for the injured person. We're, and we're, um, we're getting them out of there as soon as possible. We've managed the spill with foam. Yeah. And um, it's, it's really exciting. Let's take a moment right now to get a, a live picture of what we see behind us as we step away here. Talk about, I mean, the technology for first response is ever changing. Well, it's ever changing and it's got to get better. I mean, if you think about 9/11, you think about the the responses where you've got people on different different phones and different radios and they're not communicating with each other. So, in order to save lives, we've got to get a common communication protocol. We've got to get information about accidents, information about hazardous waste, information about injuries to the first responders right away to save lives. And this is a real opportunity to showcase that. Fantastic. It was great to see, and I have to say, it was great to see a drill and not the real thing. Absolutely. And hopefully, when the real thing does occur, all of these first responders will be ready. They'll be ready to go. They'll have all the technology at their disposal. Again, a very important drill out here in Belle Isle. That's what's happening now. Let's send it back to the studio. Very important, Andy, and looking good out on Belle Isle.